Welcome everyone, my name is Ali A. Thank you for tuning in for another early Call of Duty Advanced Warfare video where today we're going to be taking a look at the new score streak system for Advanced Warfare multiplayer and also taking a look at all of the wild cards that will be available. They'll be at the end of the video, so do not miss out on them. Taking a look at all the score streaks that I got to actually use at the multiplayer reveal and letting you guys know how they're na actually now upgradable um, through a new score streak upgrade system, which I really, really like and adds a lot of diversity to the choice of score streaks. Now, before we jump into them and take a look at all of these things in detail, um, at the multiplayer reveal event, there were only seven streaks available. That is not the total number of streaks that will be available within the full game. I believe there's anywhere between 12 and 14 streaks that will be available within the full game. So almost double the amount of streaks. But this is all that we know of at the moment. Uh, there's going to be even more which is absolutely crazy and when we get information on those streaks I'll of course let you guys know straight away but I still wanted to cover these streaks because of how much customization is available and how they sort of change from the previous Call of Duty game so to, let's jump into it with the UAV to start off with the very first streak that's available and costs the least amount of points. Now the way that the score streak system works with Advanced Warfare is, it, is that it's done on a point system just like uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 used. So essentially they're called score streaks where anything you do in game, be it an assist, a kill, capturing of a flag getting a kill with a score streak, all of those points are going to be added together uh, to total up the score that you can get to earn yourself a kill streak. And on top of that, as I mentioned, everything is now upgradable and customizable, so let's jump straight into it. So the first one we've got here is the UAV, which the standard cost is 400, and this will simply scan across the minimap and let you guys know where the enemies are located, just like a normal UAV would, but you can upgrade it. Adding on for 150 points, you will get the ability to also get an assist each time your teammate gets a kill while your UAV is up in the air. On top of that, you can get threat detection for 300, which shows all the enemies for 10 seconds following activation. A very, very powerful streak indeed. And then next up, we have support. This simply changes the kill streak to a support streak meaning that even when you die, your progress towards this streak continues, uh, so basically turns it into a support UAV. So if you, for example, went ahead and added all of these things together, I think the streak would cost something around 1,150, so a lot more than the baseline 400 score for the standard UAV, but you're getting a load of extra uh, perks in a way, loads of extra abilities added to the streak, so it's up to you to sort of work out where do you want to go, do you want to add this thing on or do you not? I typically just went with the baseline score streaks for a lot of the times, but in some cases the extra uh, upgrades were really useful. So moving on to the orbital care package, so essentially a care package, it will drop a care package in the position that you call it in from the sky and uh, you'll be able to get a random streak from the care package. Now the first thing you can add on to it is double tap for, for, for 200 extra score. This will mean that you can actually change the care package once, allowing you to get another uh, streak, and maybe it's better, maybe it's worse, who knows. But on top of that, you can also go for better odds, and this gives you an increased chance of getting the better streaks within your care package. So if you use the care package a lot, maybe you want to do that. And then on top of that, you can turn it again to a support streak, but this costs 600, so very, very expensive indeed. So maybe if you don't always get the streaks, normally this is going to be worthwhile, but it is a very expensive trade off indeed. It's worth noting that not all score streaks have the support upgrade option. Only some of them do, which is great. It means you can't go and earn like the best streak in the game through support. Uh, only some of the sort of like indirect helpful streaks like the UAV and care package can have the support uh, upgrade added to them. The remote turret costs 600 score and can be manually controlled and there are again loads of awesome upgrades. The first one is the rocket turret for 100 score. This adds literally rockets onto the turret instead of machine guns. Next up you can go for directed energy. This fires basically a laser from the sentry instead. You can't have the rocket turret as, uh, at the same time. Uh, next up you can go for rippable. I didn't get to use this. Really wish I did but essentially you rip off the turret and walk around with it as like a portable turret. I really wish I used it. They showed it within the multiplayer trailer. It looked very, very cool indeed. And then finally, you have the ability for the sentry to be controlled manually. Um, just like a sentry gun would when you're not controlling it. I use that one quite a bit just because I, I'm not really interested in sitting around and controlling a turret myself. I'd rather it just did its own thing. Next up, we have the X. 
S1 Vulcan. This was again shown in the trailer. Very cool indeed. It's a manually controlled burst of high-powered energy straight from the sky directly down onto the map. It costs 600 score as per standard, but you can again add upgrades. This is basically a big laser beam shooting down onto the map. Once you activate it, you can move the laser beam around the map very slowly and the laser beam only lasts for around five seconds or so for so very very short but if you upgrade it you can turn it into an absolute beast so first of all you can increase the beam width only for 100 score so making it a wider area that it'll be shooting down onto the map next up you can add three rotating lasers around the edge of the beam making it basically like a huge huge area that it attacks uh, attacks onto the map and then finally you can get an extra burst which pretty much doubles the use of this streak for just 300 so very very useful indeed meaning you can attack down onto the map twice Next up, we've got the Warbird. I like this one. I used it a lot um, and it's pretty cool. A bit like a sort of like a Pavlo, I guess, within previous Call of Duty games or Batterhind within um, Call of Duty Ghost. This is a remotely piloted aerial attack vehicle, um, but you can upgrade it to get rockets for 300. And this is like uh, an actual weapon you can switch between. So you can switch between the normal guns and the rockets and use them to, your, to the best of your ability. Or you can change it to an aggressor, which is an AI-controlled warbird. And this is what I did. I added on this streak for 300 to make it about uh, 1,100 score. Uh, just so it was manually controlled. And, uh, sorry, AI-controlled. It just flew around in the air, did all of my dirty work for me. And I didn't have to worry about controlling it. I really enjoyed that. But then again... You can jump into it uh, again if you want to control it yourself. So it's sort of, sort of like a choice there, which is pretty cool. And next up, a very cool addition is the Warbird Wingman. This is allowing another player to join your Warbird and actually start attacking enemies as well. Uh, so basically, you could be in the uh, Warbird controlling it, shooting it down on the map. And when it's called in, your whole team will have an icon appear on their screen saying press X to join the Warbird. And the first person that joins the Warbird will be inside it with like a smaller minigun and they'll be able to to tack down on the map as well it's sort of like a sort of like joining two people into one streak very cool addition i like it a lot next up is the xs1 uh, goliath i used this i think once or twice wasn't hugely keen on it it's a bit like a juggernaut from ghosts and i'm, I'm i'd just rather let my streets do their thing while i continue to ro roam around the map this is a manually controlled suit of advanced armor with heavy weapons and you can add on the recon ability so it sends like, like a ping locating enemies nearby for just 100 you can add on trophy, which means it's got a mobile trophy system on it, which means it can deflect, I believe, one or two explosives if it gets used up, but very useful against grenades. And finally, a homing rocket. So it packs a rocket onto its shoulder, uh, which locks onto targets. It's fun, not gonna lie. It wasn't too, like, overpowered. Like, you could definitely escape it. But if you were accurate and you were using this thing, you could take out multiple people for sure. I'd say it's most useful for modes like maybe Domination or Hardpoint, uh, where you can actually sort of, like, control an area and uh, really use it to the best of your ability because of how strong it is. Finally, the biggest street that was available within the reveal was the Paladin, a manually controlled weapon system. Uh, very similar to the Warbird, but a little bit more powerful. You can add on laser guided rockets, which were very, very cool. Uh, these things just like locked onto enemies, shot down on the map. And this thing was an absolute beast, an absolute blast to use, I'm not gonna lie. Next up, you can add on the 105 millimeter cannons, which made it even more powerful, even stronger. And then finally, Wingman, again, allowing you to have a teammate come and join you for the fun. Very awesome indeed. I love the Paladin, not gonna lie. All of these streaks were a lot of fun. I honestly missed out on, like, the great streaks in, in Call of Duty Ghost. I wish there were more. Like, they got very, very repetitive, but with this new upgrading system, I think I'm going to be switching between streak options tons and tons. They still haven't announced all of the other streaks that are available. I believe the VSAT is meant to be coming back. I believe there's going to be more air streaks. There's that swarm, which I mentioned within my perk video. If you guys haven't seen the perk video for Advanced Warfare, go and check that out. So loads and loads of awesome additional streaks will be coming and also additional modules for each of the streaks. So crazy stuff. I'm loving what we're getting so far for the streaks. It's going to be absolutely awesome. And to round off the video, I'm going to go through the wild cards as well. First of all, we've got overkill. It allows you to take a primary weapon in the slot of your secondary. So you're going to have two primary weapons. Personally, I never use this, but maybe some of you guys want to rock maybe a shotgun and a sniper together or an SMG and assault rifle and know that you will have those weapons when you go into a game. You could find that pretty useful. Next up, we've got primary gunfighter allowing you to take a third attachment onto your main weapon. 
I used this so much, so, so much, um, and I just made my weapon as beast as possible. There's so many great attachments on the weapon that this was really, really useful, and I'm going to be using this a lot within the full release of the game, I reckon. Next up, Secondary Gunfighter allows you to take a second attachment for your second weapon. If you're really interested in the pistols or something like that, then maybe you want to use that. I don't think this is going to get used quite as much, but again, fairly useful. Next up, Perk 1 Greed, allowing you to take a second Perk 1. Perk 2 Greed, allowing you to take a second Perk 2, and then Perk 3 Greed, allowing you to take a second Perk 3. This is going to be um, used for sure. There's a lot of great perks in all of the perk slots. If you haven't seen my perk video yet for Advanced Warfare, go and check it out. Um, I think I'm going to be using Perk 3 Greed quite a lot, the most I reckon, just because of how many great perks there are in that third tier slot. I think a lot of other people are going to be using that as well. Next up we've got Tactician. This allows you to take an Exo ability into your Exo Launcher slot, meaning that you can actually have two Exo abilities, which is pretty damn neat. So you could have, say, Cloaking and a Shield. Lots of um, abilities then you can put together and use them in a, in a very interesting fashion. For example, Hovering and Shield. I saw some people jump up in the air, hover in the air, which seems dumb, but then they'd whip out a shield, so everybody would shoot at them in the air, and they'd just have their shield out, and they wouldn't die, and their enemies would just, uh, sorry, their teammates near them would just be, like, sprinting past, taking over and shooting down all the enemies that were, like, confused by this guy hovering in the air. I think there's going to be a lot of interesting plays to be made with this double exo ability uh, wild card. Next up, we've got Bomb Bombardier. Take an Exo Launcher in your Exo Ability slot. So it means you can take another Exo Launcher, being a grenade, EMP. If you haven't seen all of the grenades, I'll again link that down below. It was included within my perk video, so definitely go and check it out. And then finally, Streaker. Take a fourth kill streak. That is pretty insane. You can now have four kill streaks at your command within Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. For any of you guys that just love to go out and get as many kills as possible and love to get as many of those kill streaks, you guys are going to like this. I think when I'm going for like insane gameplays and really pushing myself, I'll use this. But then again, when you use this wild card and the extra streak, you're going to have to take a hit, be it in the perks or the gun attachments. So going to be interesting it's going to be a trade-off that's the whole point of this pick 13 system within multiplayer but there you go guys hopefully you've really enjoyed another advanced warfare video these tend to be quite long but it's just a lot of information to get across and hopefully you guys appreciate that and still enjoy the video if you do give it a thumbs up there's gonna be a lot more advanced warfare gameplay coming this weekend so get excited make sure you're subscribing and checking out here on my channel if you have enjoyed check out more videos on screen here make sure you're not missing out on any of the latest advanced warfare information check out my second channel more ali as well for more videos that aren't just Call of Duty related, believe it or not. But thank you so much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, and I'll see you guys on my next video.